Hey, look, a new subscriber. Hello, my loves. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Melody. I'm an Nigerian based content creator. This is the first time you're seeing my face here on YouTube. Thank you very much for stopping by. Do not forget to subscribe. And if this video helped you, or particularly any part of this video you feel like you know you're interested in, please leave a comment and let us know. So we'll keep talking about things that resonate with you because I love you guys and I'm doing this majorly for you guys. So yeah, today we'll be talking about some business ideas slash side hustle so you know this can come in on the side of your nine to five or you can do this like full time whichever way that you feel like you want to make use of this information it is left for you and to you so yes let's get into it so for my first um side hustle slash small business idea that i have for you guys is to start an e-commerce store that is something that is very possible to do with minimal effort and on a side note just to let you guys know each and every one of these things that i'm listing out i'm going to be doing a full video concerning each of these um ideas so just in case you're interested in one of them and you don't know how to go about it or maybe every single thing or resource that you're seeing here on youtube is like too ambiguous for you to even try to understand what they're talking about i'm going to put it into the simplest terms and for some of these things that i don't do if i want to start doing them also i'm going to record my process just to ensure that you guys have a feel of what it's going to look like if you start this business so yes my first idea is to start an e-commerce store and you know from there um, you choose your product, you choose your niche, you choose your target audience slash customer base and you just keep doing all of those things. If you want to check out, like I said, some of the things that you can do to succeed in e-commerce, you can check other YouTube channels or just be a little bit patient while at it when um, till when I'm going to have to do my own videos for you guys to enjoy. So yeah, that's my first point. For my second business idea slash side hustle idea is social media management and um, for this particular one i tried it somehow somehow a couple of years ago and i couldn't keep up with it because i didn't have the time to actually do it it actually requires a lot of time but for now lately it doesn't require so much time anymore because there are a lot of softwares and platforms that will enable you to actually optimize your audience and your clients and give a better output with the least amount of time so if you want to check out how to you know succeed in social media management you can go ahead and check other youtube channels where well, like i said i'm going to be doing some other videos personalized to these side hustles and these ideas for you guys to actually get an in-depth of what it looks like for an ordinary person to do these things so yeah start social media management if you think you're passionate about you know social media if you think you have prior knowledge about these things or yeah that's it this is the business for you so for the third idea or side hustle that you can actually start doing here in 2023 is content creation um the idea of side hustle and small business is to ensure that somehow at some point you make some sort of profit and with that being said subscribe to my channel so at least i'll get monetized and social media and content creation will start being profitable to me with all of the um time and effort that i put in so if you haven't subscribed yet don't be an enemy of progress <laughs> go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel and let me grow and let me get monetized so that i'll start chopping dollars okay yeah thank you so like i said content creation you can start doing that and whether it's on instagram or on tiktok these days tiktok is the bomb and people actually cash out and make a lot of profit from tiktok or even here on youtube which is you know the money generator when it comes to content creation so you can do any of these things to make money on the side like i do content creation on the side um i have some other businesses that i do on the side while i still maintain my nine to five so yeah it's not like it's going to be the easiest thing to do but 
you can navigate through it and you will have your own experiences and your own stories to tell when the time comes so that is my third idea content creation if you want to do something on the side uh, and make some extra money and also putting your passion to work because if you're not passionate about it best believe you're going to crash before it even starts so yeah that's a side note you're welcome so my fourth idea is to start a home clinic service um this thing is something that i took note of because recently i've been seeing a lot of ads popping up on my screen for home cleaning services or office cleaning services they just keep telling you about how easy it is to actually start a home cleaning service and i'm here to tell you that yes it is not that difficult there are a lot of ideas and ways that you can actually optimize this particular side hustle and you don't even have to lift a finger or visit anybody or go to anywhere for you to be able to make this money now let me give you guys a hint some of these people who do home cleaning and office cleaning they don't even do it themselves you just put together a bunch of people who are willing to actually do this task for a certain amount of money and you know depending on how professional they are or they are willing to be you can know how you can charge your own clients to ensure that you get the maximum amount of money from them and you can satisfy your clients while you also satisfy those who work for you so you can outsource cleaners who clean for you like I said, depending on how professional they are and how good they are, you can build your clients according to the capacity of your workers. And yes, you are someone, automatically you become someone who, is, who has employees and you know has an entire business without even doing the work yourself. Um, recently, watching Kamsi's vlogs, I saw that she normally complained about, you know, how the cleaner who comes to clean does not clean as good as she wants the person to clean and sometimes maybe there's oil somewhere there's not supposed to be oil or somewhere is a little bit slippery or slimy or something like that you can take advantage of those kind of things if you have cleaners that are better than that cleaner that you know some of these people they talk about or they hire you can just pitch in your own brand and pitch in your own business and tell them that without the benefit of the doubt you deliver better than every other service that they've been using and yeah that's a tip on how to actually get your own clients and you're welcome so for my fifth point i would say you start a pet grooming service i personally i don't know if there are a lot of people who need this service but i'm very sure that if you you know check out the richer parts of your your community or your country or you know whatever you would see that there are people who actually have pets that they are willing to splurge on so just like i said in my previous point you don't have to be the one to go and walk these dogs or cut their hairs or you know give them treats or even sit them you can hire people from different parts of the states that are willing to do this job for you know a specific amount of money and then you go ahead and you charge your client um, a certain amount just to be able to get by and you know you're someone who's going to employ other people and also be able to outsource these services so if you want to start a pet grooming service it doesn't have to be that difficult normally the difficult part about starting services is to actually find your clients but when it comes to finding people who will do it for you a lot of them you can find them very recommendations and you know you, they can be accountable for whatever situation that they get themselves in so yeah that is the fifth business idea that i have for you guys so the sixth business idea slash side puzzle is to be a personal stylist or a personal shopper now i've been thinking about this idea for a while because i feel like i'm kind of interested in exploring this part of you know my life i'm not someone that has like a lot of eye for fashion pieces or for stuff like that but i know that i have taste nobody can tell me otherwise i have taste for good stuff and yes i know that i'll be able to put stuff together if i'm given the chance so yes i also think that i want to start um a personal shopping and a personal styling business 
<laughs> I'm not joking though, I'm just saying it and if I eventually get to start up something like that, I'm going to be filming the entire process and the entire experience for you guys who feel like you might want to also, you know, dive into something like that. So yes, start a personal shopping and a personal styling business today if you think that that is the idea that you can go with. So yeah the seventh one the seventh idea side hustle that you can start um this is like with minimal cost and with minimal effort and with minimal um time is to start a food delivery service you can just be that person that picks up food from one um from a restaurant or a cook to their client or their customer and it is as easy as i'm saying it now except you are that person that will open the food and eat one part of the chicken please don't be that person be a dedicated person and best believe these sort of businesses they always grow with recommendations so if somebody recommends you you know that your business is actually growing and just a side note though instead of becoming the food delivery person why don't you become the person that provides the food now let me give you guys this very very interesting idea normally some people do food prep and some people don't now in that kind of situation you don't need so much to become someone that makes food for others you can just have a menu that is like one dish only and starts from there you don't have to be a culinary king or wizard to be able to create food for others so if you think that you have one soup that if you make this soup today ha your neighbors in fact the people from the next street will know that you're the one cooking then you can actually offer that particular soup to people and best believe there are people that are going to pay as much money as you want to have you provide those kind of meals to them and the second thing that you can also do you can just make white rice and stew and maybe fried plantain on the side and that is all you offer for breakfast in the morning with maybe fruits or something that is what you offer in the morning at breakfast and i feel like there are a lot of people who are going to intentionally book you because they don't have time they don't want to eat egg in the morning so that is why they are going to take your rice and your stew just like that so if you know that you can prepare these things they are not so difficult to prepare go ahead put it together and tell people that this is what you're going to be providing on your menu and see them coming to buy it another thing that i want to give out as a tip for marketing this kind of service you can go to your social media platform and request of people to answer if they would be willing to pay a specific amount for rice and stew um, with plantain and fruits as side dishes in the morning if people say yes then you can go ahead and tell them in their dms that you provide this service or you provide this product for them to patronize you or even recommend you to others you tell them will you be willing to buy this soup um this amount uh, you know for the weekend if they say yes then yes you tell them that you actually offer this service or this product as your own personal business and let them patronize you or better still recommend it to people who will be able to patronize you. So you're welcome even though you don't tell me thank you. <laughs> so for my eighth business idea that you can actually start with little or nothing is event planning business. Now, wait. Hold up. I'm not saying you should go and start planning anybody's wedding. Okay, let's get that out of the way. You can decide to start to plan birthday parties, bridal showers, um, baby showers, surprise engagements. And the good thing about this type of business idea or side hustle is that the client gets to pay you first before you're able to deliver. So they get to pay you maybe a down payment not for a roasted corn but <laughs> if you know you know but for the event that you're about to plan for them they are able to give you a down payment or slash the price um and give to you for you to start something and from there 
um, basically majority of these businesses are based off of recommendations you can grow and exploit your area of you know expertise when people um, are satisfied to the point where they get to recommend you to other people so yeah whatever is worth doing is worth doing well and if you want to grow your business or grow your brand whatever it is be it a product or a service do it well so people will be able to recommend you and tell others about how good of a business person you are yeah so that is it for event planning the number ninth idea that i have for you guys is to become a personal coach or a trainer actually right now i consult for businesses so if a small business that is just starting out and you don't know how to put your thoughts and your plans together you can hit me up um, my email is going to be in the description you can talk to me uh, right now I feel like I want to start doing free consultations for small businesses as my way of giving back which is the more reason why you need to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram so yeah if you're a small business I consult for small businesses and if you have an idea about something that you can teach people or that you can impact on people why not monetize that why not go ahead and start charging people for instilling that knowledge or helping them to do something that on their own they won't be able to do so you can become a personal trainer which involves you know you taking people to the gym and helping them to work out or teaching them some strategies when it comes to business or even you can deliver a service for meal planning for somebody you never can tell who needs that service until you go into that market and talk to the audience and you realize that there are a lot of people who on a daily basis they don't know what to eat and they need somebody to actually plan that out for them i'm not a personal trainer but if at any point in time i feel like that business is a goal then i'm going to start doing it so yeah that is it for my ninth point and for the tenth idea that i have for you guys is something that has been all over the place that i don't know if you have heard but if you haven't become a virtual assistant today if you don't know what a virtual assistant is it's basically someone that helps a small business or an entrepreneur or even a content creator like myself to organize so you're like the boss of the boss that they don't want to tell you these people don't want you to know but you're basically the one who gets to remind this person it's like a personal assistant but then you do it virtually so if there are events the person needs to attend if there are things the person needs to do you get to organize all of those things and then become a personal reminder so instead of them to just put it on google calendar for google to remind them they want you to remind them and also the job description might include you planning some things as time goes on as you get to understand the client's personality and all of that and it was it might range to you know taking some few hours in the day to taking all of your time so if you're ready to you know attach to somebody and learn their own lifestyle and learn their own business then you can be able to do this side hustle slash small business idea and also even when uh, it comes to becoming a virtual assistant you can become an agent yourself to link businesses brands entrepreneurs to virtual assistants and then as the middleman you get to collect your own share of the pie so that is really all for today i hope this video is packed and it has helped someone to widen their horizon as to what business to do so don't say that i don't know what to do because i've been there i've been in situations where i'm like i don't know what to do but these are some business ideas that you can actually start doing and i'm not saying jump on it in one day and you start making money from these ideas but gradually and surely if you put in your dedication and your time and your consistency um, you're going to get results so like i said before go ahead and subscribe to my channel because i'm being consistent i'm doing my own side hustle let it profit me one way or another if you subscribe and give the video a thumbs up thank you very much guys for watching i love you all so much and i'll keep you know putting out 
videos that are helpful and inspiring as well so yeah until i see you guys in my next video which is like you know two days or three days from now thank you very much once again for sticking by and i love you again bye <laughs>